Hey YouTube world, what's going on? Tweet it's in a house. Coming back at you with another cigar review. This time we have a real treat, one of my personal favorites. We have the Monte Cristo White Series, number two, Torpedo. Who does number two work for? Okay, I just had to forget that. That's too funny. All right, guys, so it's cigars in five. So get ready in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so like we said, we have the Monte Cristo White Series, uh, number two. Uh, Chris is going to cut his, and we're going to light it up, so we're going to see what happens. Now, there's an interesting description about this uh, cigar, and it goes by slightly sweet, nutty, and creamy. Now, not how we're going to characterize it, so we're going to give you our own little uh, little description of it. Um, these are definitely premium cigars. Um, like I said, one of my favorites. Um, very smooth. You always get a, a clean, good burn as long as you have the cigars well humidored. So we're going to cut it. This time, they're torpedoes, so you can't use a... A punch on it, so we're using a guillotine lighter. So what we're guillotine gonna do right cutter. now? What's that? Guillotine cutter. Guillotine cut. Wait, what did I say? Lighter. Oh well, okay. There we go. This is why we have Sorry. two idiots. So we're Sorry. gonna light up. We're learning. See what? Yeah, we're, it's it's a journey. <laughs> it's a journey. <laughs> we're gonna light up, and uh, we're gonna give our uh, feedback. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try to give this baby a light. Um. So I've been watching a bunch of videos, seeing a lot of stuff, reading some things, and a lot of people talk about you kind of. Do this toasting. So I guess the idea is that you kind of just you just bring the tobacco up to a point where you're warming it up. So you're not you're not puffing on the end of it yet. You're just kind of bringing the tobacco up the temperature so that way you don't. I mean, it's gonna burn, Correct. right? But you don't overburn it to the point where it, it like ruins the taste exactly. of the cigar. So then, uh, from my understanding, you, you get it like that. It's nice and charred and toasted, exactly. and then you kind of give it a light. So exactly. You, you don't want to be Mr. Torch, as uh, they're known, um, where you're uh, completely uh, over lighting your cigar. Um, it, it, it helps to unravel your cigar, and you don't want that. You want a nice clean burn. So keep it a nice distance away. And uh, right now. It's fully lit. We're going to enjoy it a little bit, and then uh, we'll come back at you and tell you what we think. All right, so first impressions. So I'm, the first thing I could say, it's definitely light. I mean, so, it, I mean, looking at it, you would kind of intend for it to be. And it's not necessarily something that, you know, is highlighted about this, but I do like it. Because sometimes, I mean, I've smoked a lot of cigars where... You get like, you know, when you get toward the end of a cigar or the middle of a cigar and you get this like urge to kind of spit and you need to drink water. You need to drink something with it. You can't just drink, smoke it by itself. I've definitely got there before, but this doesn't, this doesn't taste that way. It's not giving me, me that piece of it. But I also can definitely say I'm not really getting sweet either though. Correct. Correct. I... I always I have. say it's a sweet cigar. Like the other ones that we've had, yes. like they're sweet. Like you put your mouth on it and you could tell that it's sweet right off the bat. There's not, it's not a lot of questions and answers right. about it. Right. But this is, I mean, if they're saying this is slightly sweet, it's got to be really slight. And maybe I'm just not, maybe I'm just not getting it. No, I, you know, when I always smoke these, usually I save them for uh, special occasions like uh, weddings, graduations, um, mm. stuff like that. I always find that it's um, just a smooth, clean burn. Um, you get really, really good tobacco with this, and with really good tobacco, you can definitely tell the difference between, you know, a cigar that's rolled properly with high-end tobacco versus, you know, one or two dollar cigars. Which, you know, back back a few years ago, uh, my friend and I we definitely tried, and you know, the the lower end tobacco will put you on your ass. And uh, yeah, it's uh, actually I had one last week. Oh yeah, yeah. One of the guys, one of the guys that I was with, uh, working with, was uh, very stressful day. He comes out and he walks up to me. He's got like the cherry, the <laughs> cherry sticks on like, the gas. And I'm station. sitting there and I'm, and I'm like, I told you I made a video. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, D like, you know this is gonna be awful. And he, and the first thing he goes out of mouth is, I know they're awful. But at the same time, he goes, I know you don't smoke cigarettes. Right. So he goes, so I had to get you something because I'm watching you. And he goes, and you need something. That's classy. So that, that's, that, that's that is an absolute classic. Like, but it's the bag, like the little resealable bag that has two in it. Yep. So he brings me that, and he just like throws them on my desk, and I'm just, I just start laughing. I'm like, whatever. So I smoked one of them. I mean, you, I mean, it's exactly what you expect it to be. And you know what? So, hmm. That's what I got. I mean, like I said, it's smooth. It's yep. a nice pull. It. It's light. I just don't get the sweet from it. Which, well, honestly, when you said it was slightly sweet, I was like, "Oh, that's like going to be the thing I'm going to 
I'm going to hone right in on because I like... I got a sweet tooth, so... Correct. I'm, like, thinking that's what's going to pull through in front of everything else to me and kind of dominate everything, but I'm not getting that. So, nope. interesting so we'll, surprise, but... We'll, we'll uh, come back with our final thoughts. So, uh, final wrap-up thoughts. Uh, this is definitely a good premium cigar for any special occasion. Um, I highly recommend that you go to JR Cigars and, and, and other sites like that and go to auction because these can be a little pricey when you're buying them uh, per stick. Um, Even if you go and look at the box, right? I mean, you go look at the price for some of these cigars, they get very expensive. So, I mean, absolutely. And, and like you said, two eighths in house, right? We're not looking to spend a ton of money. But just guys, overall, uh, this channel is going to be basically about a ton of different things. Two eighths in a house, right? So, we're going to be going outside. We're going to do some yard work and fill some of that. Let you guys go. Uh, let you guys in on what's going on, um, just around the house. You get a general overview. Obviously, we're in quarantine right now. Cigar review, super easy to do. It doesn't take anywhere. We're sitting in the garage. It's a little bit warm out today, humid, but you know, wrapping it up, having some fun. Uh, so once again, if you guys have anything you want to see us do, you want to see us uh, go out on the road, and you know, maybe we'll film some stuff on our phones and stuff like that. Let us know in the comments section, and we'll be happy to pull something together. Go have some fun, all right? And most <laughs> of all, thank, thank you. you guys. All right. Have a good night. I think that's